The Vespasianus Titus Tunnel is an awesome feat of Roman engineering. Its preservation is magnificent and it points out the awesome industrious knowledge of the Romans 2000 years ago under Emperor Vespasian. The tunnel was eventually completed under Emperor Antoninus about 150 years after the construction was begun and it is thought that only brute force alone dug out this awe-inspiring megatunnel. An inscription carved in rock at the entrance of the first tunnel section shows the names of Vespasianus and Titus and another one at the discharge tunnel has the name of Emperor Antoninus. This is one of the largest tunnels in the world as made by man. The fact that the whole tunnel was carved through solid rock with only hammers and chisels and brute force and that it has survived to this day without much damage this continues to amaze modern engineers and architects. This tunnel is measuring 1,380 metres in length, 7 metres high and 6 metres wide. In some parts, the tunnel is cut in half and with the sun at the top, a tremendous infiltration of light enters. This masterpiece was added to UNESCO's World Heritage List in 2014. The Vespasianus Titus Tunnel was located within the first degree archaeological site and designated an intangible cultural property to be conserved in 1981. The authenticity and the integrity of the tunnel have been conserved till this day without any damage and it has transferred the characteristics of its period till today. The tunnel, complete with a dam and hydraulic system, was built to stop floodwaters breaching the harbour. And despite previous attempts by other Roman emperors, the water was never diverted till this tunnel right here was constructed. According to some archaeological records and the various epitaphs on the tunnel, Roman legions and slaves worked during its construction. It was created by opening a canal through the bedrock within a short time. This structure, with its water canals connecting to the tunnel, the water bridge, the bridge carved into the rock, the cisterns adjacent to the tunnel is not only a tunnel but also a structure protecting the city against floods and especially preventing the silting up of the harbour shaped around the natural lagoon as well as fulfilling the water needs of the city during the summer times. It was designed and implemented according to the needs of the ancient city of Seleukiaia Pieria in Turkey.